So as you age, you actually start to lose the volume in your cheeks, down through your jawline, in the chin area, sometimes even right underneath the eyes temples we just start to lose the the fat in our face and so basically what we try to do is restore that volume and as you restore that volume then it gives you a lift at the same time fillers it's just trying to restore the volume in a very natural way so our goal is to not overfill by any means just to, to get you back to where you were a few years ago the majority of the fillers on the market now are what we call hyaluronic acids and hyaluronic acids it's a substance you have everywhere in your body it's like the cushion between your your bones and your joints. It's a jelly-like substance. So it's a byproduct of collagen everywhere in everybody's body. So it's not something that you're going to be allergic to. There are various different fillers that have various different size molecules to treat different areas of the face. Typically, we will use those hyaluronic acids to treat these laugh lines what we call the marionette lines or the puppet lines. We can treat deep chin creases, lips to give you more volume in the lips. We can treat the lip lines, smoker lines. Overall facial volume, we can put some filler up in the cheeks to give you a little lift in this area. And then we also carry Radius. Radius is a filler that is more of a calcium derived product and that tends to go in deeper. So if somebody has deeper lines, maybe they've lost a considerable amount of weight. Whenever we have large amounts of volume loss, then we tend to use that heavier volumizing product. We do put some numbing cream on just for the needle stick. The products themselves actually have a little bit of lidocaine mixed with them, so that helps. It does have a little bit of a burning sensation as it's being injected. It does not hurt afterwards whatsoever. Your biggest risk with fillers is swelling and bruising. Typically, as soon as I put the product in, best results from your fillers are still two weeks out. Bruising is a bigger issue than say it is with Botox or Dysport because it is a larger molecule and certain areas of the face are more vascular. We do massage the areas as we are injecting because it's almost like modeling clay. And so we'll massage it and um, kind of work out any little lumps or bumps as we're going through so that it looks very natural and, and it looks its best.